Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rep, technology trainer of Port Huron Schools. And today I'm on a Chromebook. And with me, I have some Chromebook tips and tricks that I'd like to share with both students and teachers. First, I'm going to get started by going up to the waffle. We like to call it the waffle. It's also known as the Google Apps button. We're just going to click on this. And I want you to know that this list can be moved around. So for example, if I wanted to move something up this list, if it was way down, for example, YouTube, I can click, hold, and drag, and drag it up the list so that I have these apps in order of preference. For example, Gmail, Google Classroom, and Calendar are three that I use every day. I also use Google Drive and Docs a lot. Now, I'm going to go into my Gmail, which is also an app that I use all the time. And while you use it, you probably have it running up here on your tabs bar all the time, right? So wouldn't it be great if you just could pin this app and keep it running continuously throughout the day? Well, you can do that by simply doing a right click. Now, what about right clicking on a Chromebook? You'll notice that all you have is a touchpad. And with a uh, Chromebook, you have to do a two finger tap. Two fingers right in the middle of your touchpad will give you a right click. For those of you who don't like to hold down on the touchpad, you can also just use the Alt key. Press the Alt key and then just tap. And that will also bring up a right click. There's a third way to do a right click on a Chromebook, and that is if you're using a touchscreen Chromebook. So touch the screen and then let go, and you will also get a right click. So what we're going to do now is from the right click menu, we're just going to use Pin Tab. If you choose pin tab, what it does is it reduces the size of the tab to about one third its size and it pins it all day right up there in the top left corner. So my email is now running and I have it right up there pinned in the top left corner. Now, when you're in Google Drive, let's talk about some Google Drive tips. When I click on the Google Drive settings button, it looks kind of like a gear. Some people even say that it looks like a flower. If you click on it, you can go down to settings. When you click on settings, you'll see that there's a list of settings here. One thing I like to do is I like to convert uploads from Microsoft format. So for example, if I'm using PowerPoint or Word and I wanna convert that Word or PowerPoint document into an editable, shareable Google file, I just check this box and then every time I upload a Microsoft file, it automatically gets converted to Google, either Google Docs, Google Slides, or Google Sheets, for example. So that's how that magic happens right here. Scrolling down, there's also something called offline access. You'll see this offline section here. When you check this box, it will sync Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Drawings files to the computer so that you can edit offline even when you don't have an internet connection. So that's great, and it's a feature you'll definitely want to turn on, particularly on a Chromebook. So I wanted to mention those two. Now, when we go back to our settings, People are often looking for the keyboard shortcuts, like what's a keyboard shortcut for cut or copy or paste or even print. When you click on the drop down menu here again, right directly below the settings, you'll see keyboard shortcuts. And when you click on that, you'll see all the different keyboard shortcuts, which brings up another tip. What about when you want to scroll up and down a web page? Well, of course, you can click on the scroll bar and drag up and down, but an easier way is, again, use your two fingers. Remember how I mentioned two finger tapping on the touchpad will give you a right click? Well, two finger dragging up and down will give you a way to scroll. So I'm scrolling up and down, and this works just as well for web pages. Just scroll up and down using your two fingers on the touchpad. Another way would be if you have a touchscreen Chromebook, just tap on the page and drag up and down with your finger. So that's a great use for the touchscreen feature. I also wanted to mention that since we're in our Google Drive, a quick way to get to our most often used documents is to click on the Recent button. Just click on Recent and it will bring up your most often used or most recently used documents. It could be a video, it could be a folder or it could be something that you used earlier this week. Again, scrolling up and down with your two fingers will show you all of your most recent documents in the recent section. In your Google Drive, you'll see that there are different ways to organize your icons. When you come up here, you'll see that there are two, grid view and list view. When I click on that button, you'll see that right now I'm in grid view and I have a lot of folders. 
as I scroll down that list, if I have a document that's not in a folder, you'll see the grid view of it. It's also known as thumbnail view, and you can see what it looks like before I open it. And then the folders will look like this. Now, a lot of people would rather have the other option, and that is list view. This is list view, and the difference is that you get the full name of the document or folder. So if it has a really long name, you'll get to see the full name, and you also get to see who created that file or that folder and when it was last modified. So that's nice as well. So over here is another feature that I wanted to mention. It's the little letter I. This is what it normally looks like, a little letter I, and it's known as View Details. When you click on any of these files or folders, it will show you over here at the right all of the activity for that particular file or folder. So if I click on this videos folder, for example, it will show me that I changed permission for a particular file at one time. It will show me other people who have changed permissions for it. Here's another one. This is another folder. It will show you all of the people who have done anything inside of that folder. Here's another one. When I click on the folder, it will show you the activity over at the right. So it's good to know that. If you move something into the trash and you go into your trash, you'll see when you drag something into the trash, for example. So this is all of the items that are in my trash. If I click on something, you'll see when I trashed it. So that's another feature that a lot of people don't realize is even there. So activity is something you can turn on by just clicking this letter I. These have been some of the most important tips to use with Chromebooks. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark Rep. Join me for more Chromebook tips throughout the year. Bye-bye.